Hey, hello. My name is Emmanuel Smith, and this is my story about um, stuttering. Well, um, I've been stuttering since um, as far back as I can remember. Um, I recently found out that after my parents divorced, um, when when I was about three, I think, or maybe I was four, but um, after that, that's when that's when my mom told me that she began to she began to notice that I stutter. So um, I'm thinking that that event is what caused uh, me to stutter. And so um, as I've been doing my researching and uh, just trying to fig- to figure out how can I stop stuttering, um, I figured out that that it has a lot to do with how you breathe. Um, it, it also has a lot to do with trying to be perfect in your speech. And so for many years, uh, I've tried to talk perfectly. And so when you try to control how you speak, you tend to, uh, you tend to, to lose control of how you speak. And so, um, I was taught at an early age to take, to, to take your time, to pause, to just do all of these things that did not work. Um, the worst thing a person can do with the person who stutters is to help them speak. That is the worst thing that you could ever do. Um, something else is that um, I, fig- I figured out that uh, when you speak, you don't you don't think about how you sound, you know. But with the person who who stutters, they think about, man, how am I going to sound? I'm going to be embarrassed. Um, I must talk perfectly. And so you end up just messing up. You get tense. And so um, when we, when an everyday person speaks, it's, it's spontaneous. And so a person does not, does, a normal person does, does not think, well, when I speak, I'm going to sound like this and I need to stop it. And so, but as a, but a person that stutters. They they really seriously think about how they sound. Uh, I need to take my time. I, I need to talk slow. And so you end up messing up worse than if you would just talk like everybody else. And come to find out, regular norm, normal people who do not stutter, they actually do. People pause, people repeat words, uh, people, they, they, mess, they mess up in their speech. So no, nobody speaks perfectly. Uh, and if you, if, you, if you hear people speaking very well, they have practiced a lot. And so, um, well, some things uh, about about me. Well, I don't think I said my name, but it is Emmanuel Smith. And so, um, like I said, I've stuttered ever since I could talk. So, uh, so at about three or four, uh, the the most embarrassing moment 
was my senior graduation. Um, we had to read. We had to read to record ourselves um, telling our family, our friends, how much we care, how much we we care for them. Um, and so, as, as a person who stutters, that's like the worst <laughs> thing that you can do. And so, at at that point in in time, I did not know how to speak like a normal person. And so, and when here's some things uh, about people who stutter, things that really just get us ah, is when you're put on the spot when when you have when when you have to speak quickly and when you're being recorded it's like all the pressure just comes like oh man i have to talk perfectly or people are or pe- people are people are going to think i'm stupid what is this person talking about? So, um, yeah. So I was re- I was recorded, and every word I just stumbled over. Just, I, 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 it was just horrible, and that was the most embarrassing. That was the most embarrassing moment that I've ever felt um, stuttering. I would say the most hurtful, because of course, as a child, people talk about you. They they imitate how you talk. Um, You know, children are the cruelest people. My own family mock, mocked me. My stepmom just constantly chastised how I speak. It was those were hurtful things, but the most hurtful thing that anybody has ever done was um I was in the I was in the ninth grade, and we used to ride the bus to school and back home and so uh we met other students who went to other schools and so um this one particular time um we was on the bus and and so of course with your friends you're comfortable whether you mess up stutter stammer whatever and so I'm just having a conversation. And so there was a a girl that would be on the bus also. And so she asked my friend, I I, I think she was trying to, to ask him without me hearing what she had to say. And so um so she said is he slow? And so I overheard it. And I was like, no. I said, I just stuttered. I'm not slow. Oh. And, and, and so that was so hurtful because I began to think about that. Like, man, she thought that I was slow. I was retarded because of my speech. So that has been thus far the most hurtful thing that anybody has ever told me. So I will I will end this episode of the of the stuttering chronicles. I can't even say that word. <laughs> uh, with uh, I know there are things that I need to. That, that I need to work on. Um, I tend to to speak quickly. I've tried to slow down and take my time, but I end up sounding 
like I'm a ro I'm a robot when I just take my time and talk like this. Um, I tend to think more about how I sound and so I end I end up sound sounding stupid. This is my own personal feelings. And I end up messing up worse than if I just talk like I would normally talk. So anyway, I'm I am up for tips, things that other stutterers have tried. So um signing off. Emmanuel Smith.